Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to explore an effect that has been highly requested, both through private request and on Patreon. So I'm taking this opportunity to create a tutorial on the subject. You've all seen the concept of transferring particles from one object to another using a fine target, but many don't know how to achieve this effect with a black and white texture, as it's indeed a bit more complex. In this tutorial, we will go over how to achieve this effect easily with a set target, understand the evaluation priority, and use the particle group to instruct all set target which texture to use for the particle transition. Of course, this effect is available on Patreon, along with all my other projects and source files. You can also find plenty of really cool projects and assets there, such as 20 ready to use cron splashes simulation. There are also many projects available individually on Gumroad, so I encourage you to check it out. Okay, let's go with the tutorial. Okay, so now we are into this max, and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a plane for the creation of my particle transition. So I will load all the maps on this plane. I can now create the plane. I can now go to the material editor, activate here v ray. Okay, go to maps, V-Ray, V-Ray bitmap, and I will select Nike one. I will just show you all the map I will use for the transition. So Nike zero one, Nike zero two, and Nike zero three. So these three maps for the transition for one, maybe this one to another, to another. Okay, perfect. I can go back to 3ds Max and I will add a V-Ray material. I can now link the map to the diffuse and apply this texture on the plane. Okay, perfect like this. So basically we will use the white for the generation of the particle. Okay, I can now duplicate the material and change the bitmap. Maybe here, Nike 02. Okay. I don't need to see the plane, so I will hide it. And I will now create my type flow setup. So here, type flow, open editor, create a burst, start zero and zero, and maybe 10,000 particles. I can now create a position object and pick my plane. Okay, so as you can see here, we have all the particles on the plane and we don't want the particle to be like this, but only in the white logo. So I will go down in the menu, in the position object menu, select density by texture, and I will select this one, the map 02, because I want to start with the logo where we will go for the transition. So I can select here the map 02 and link the map 02 to the map slot here. Okay, and as you can see here, we have the particle in the white logo, perfect like this. I can now duplicate this event. For the position object, I will go down again in the menu, and for this one, I will select the map one. So here, the map one, maybe change the color, a white, I think, don't need to see the material editor for the moment. And here, as you can see, we have the two map with the two logo. Perfect. The white for the start of the particle creation and the red for the particles we want to go for the transition. Now what I want to do is to create a target. So I will add a set target to define this one for the target. So I will go to the set target menu and select by proximity. For the target filter, I will go to event and exclude this event because I want the first event in white to be excluded. I want that the particle finds the red particle and not the white. So I exclude this event. I can now go down again in the menu and I will increase the radius with the high value. Go down again and for the neighbor selection, I will select random. Okay. I cannot just hide the red particle for the moment, not deactivate the event, but just hide the display. What I want to do now is to create a fine target, maybe after 50 frames. So I will add a time test here. Maybe not 50, but 60 with a variation of 10 particles. And I will now create my fine target. So I can now link the time test here to the fine target. 
go down in the menu and for this effect we will not use the target by picking a mesh or an object as we can do usually but we will play with the set target so I can go here in point and we will not use closest but particle target I can maybe go back to the set target and change my name for target maybe target position 01 go back to the fine target and I will select here in the channel target position 01 okay so now let's see what we have I can go to frame 60 and after the frame 60 as you can see we have some trouble here it's because I need to go to open editor here and maybe I have a problem here in the set target okay all is good here I think here is a neighbor selection is not good I have to change to random okay and now okay we can see that it start to look good I can maybe increase my number of frame maybe 400 and you can see that we have the creation of the second logo it's very cool but the animation I think is too smooth I don't like the look we have here so I will go back to type flow go back to the find target again and I will change the control by control by time maybe in 50 frame with variation of 10 and I will add the easy in to 10% to have a smaller revolt to the second logo okay so what we have now after 60 frame we have the creation of the logo it's very cool like this I will just go back again to open editor and set the same color here white perfect yeah it's very cool nice it's very nice like that okay so now you know how to create the particle transition but I will show you what to do when you have a lot of texture in my example here we have three texture I will show you again the three texture so we have this one to finish start with this one to go to this one and finish with this one so what we want to do is to go to open editor and I will duplicate this event copy past I will show you something very interesting if I deactivate here this event this event is exactly the same than this one but as you can see the effect don't work if you don't know why it's because we have to play with the evaluation priority so I have to select this event here and set the evaluation to 2 and now it will work perfect you can see if I decrease the evaluation to 1 don't work 2 work it's perfect I cannot go back to the position here position object go to my material editor I cannot duplicate this material go to the Revit map and I cannot select Nike Zone 3 I can now go to the density by texture and link the map slot here we are in the map here okay okay I can now reactivate this event and as you can see here we have the two we have the night two and the night three and we don't want that we want to start by the night two and finish to the night three so it's very easy to do that I will go to open editor and I will add particle groups so here a particle group maybe simulation group one copy past and set here particle group two okay so if I change the particle group in my event one I need to change the particle group in the set target so I will go here and for the simulation group I will select one so as you can see if I select one I go to the map with the particle group one and if I select two I go to the map with a particle group two. it's very easy to create your animation by playing with this value okay so now it's very simple to create the animation from one to other you just have to go here again to type flow I can duplicate the set target copy 
past, maybe. I will select for channel position two. And for this one, the simulation group is two. And for the first, I will select here simulation group one and not the two. So we have a set target for the particle group one and a set target for the particle group two. Perfect. What I can do now is just duplicate the time test. Maybe increase the value of the test to 100. Duplicate the fine target. Link the time test here to the fine target. Go back here in the fine target. And here we'll change the channel for the particle target. So target position one, now target position two. Okay, so now let's see what we have. If I go forward in the animation, we can see here the map one, like the run. After 60 frames, we have a switch to the map two. And after again, <laughs> we have a trouble here. Of course, I have to add a display. Let's see again. The first transition and the second transition. It's perfect like this. You can, of course, increase the number of particles if you want. So I will increase it in the tree event, maybe double. And maybe add not a small dot, but a sprite to see better the particles. So here, sprite, sprite and sprite after 60 frames the first transition and to finish the final transition you can of course play with the time test if you want more or less time you just have to go back here in tight flow and maybe i can set the transition to maybe 20 here 40 it's a very good effect Maybe too quick here, maybe 50. Great. Yeah, it's very cool. Okay, guys, that's over for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. As you can see, once you understand the principle, it's really easy to transfer particles using textures. If you are interested, you can find all my projects on Patreon, as well as many on Gumroad. Don't hesitate to subscribe and give me a thumb up if you appreciate my work. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram or Beyond if you want. See you very soon for a new tutorial, guys. Bye.